Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> oh, so this is, um, I think it's Tony Gonzaga's sister, uh-huh. Alex. Yeah. Alex Gonzaga. And uh, she, turns out she sings as well. Everyone fucking sings. Yeah, like, that's what people but said in the last... proper sings. Like... Yeah, that's what people said in the last video we checked out of Tony. They were like, guys, you gotta check out her whole family sings. And I'm so, like, wow. here we are. And this is on the Wish Bus. One of the, I think, one of the most, the coolest environments to see someone in because it's unforgiving enough. It's true to reality. Mm-hmm. And also, it does have its benefits to be able to perform there in terms of sound quality. Yeah. So... But don't, I don't think you sh- anyone should ever doubt the difficulty of uh, performing on this. And the more I will speak to artists, the more that's confirmed. The so, more yes. we're respecting the artists that actually Go make there. it work. So yeah. this is Panaginip Lang. Panaginip Lang. Panaginip Lang. I think so. Let's have a look. Oh, the day you stop correcting me and I get it correctly the first time. I go. don't know. I'm just. I'm but just the going thing with is, the comments all say you're right and I'm wrong. <laughs> it's just gut. Is it gut feeling? This is, this is the button. Erase Walucha. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I'm only joking. Bring her, here, bring her back. Here at Kettle City Hall and those at home or in your cars, let us please give it up for oh. Miss Alex Gonzaga. Panagini yes, Plan. Actually, the Panagini Plan was out last Friday. It's a mix. And you can also watch this on YouTube, your hey. music video. All right, this is Alex Gonzaga. Oh, fucking hell, it's the first time we've seen an, in- an introduction. I know, that is cool though, I like of, this. What's the name of the, the lady? The host, yeah, I would love to know How the cool would it be to know what it's like to work at Wish? Oh, I would love like, to talk to her. Like, as a host. Yeah, me too. Brilliant. Go on. I've witnessed this type of things. Live. Live. I love how you saw her mic getting muted. Did you clock it? Did you clock it? Look Course, at her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The light stopped. Like and mm-hmm. dude, that's like that was like the iPhone three. This is this old. This is old. Dude. This is kind of. Dude, old. I just realized this is old. When it, 2015. 2015. That's not that bad. It was not that old. It's like how many? To be six fair, years though, ago? from 2015, 2021, how many iPhones have come out? Yeah, They're like, basically now a yearly release, right? Yeah, indeed. Yeah, I think they oh, have me. been. Go on. Uh, that I was just, like the iPhone four. Well, it's time one of them. When I was in a dance crew in school, <laughs> that puts that shit into perspective. <laughs> that is so funny, man. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the rhythmicality of the song. Such a demanding track. Very because pop it's forward. The, yeah, but what happens with this pop forward beats? There, are, they required so much of you, even if it's not vocally demanding. The constant tempo, yeah. the constant having to fit all the words into the specific frame in it <laughs> on any specific bar uh, it's difficult and it's not only a hard task for for diction and dynamic singing wise but also to maintain a uh, congruency in the it... don't wipe yourself on me what are you joking at this? this is new <laughs> yeah Fucking and hell, he's yeah. a we're, cute cow! We're on a mad one today. I look like a vampire, but it looks like a, I don't know, cosplaying a cow. No, I look like the vampire's human niece. <laughs> the weird one. Yeah, the one that nobody gets. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, going back to yeah, the look music my new aspect. Ring, guys. Look. Yeah, nice, Ephra. Uh, okay, I think I got nothing else to say. Since no, no, but interrupt it, it's, a fair, it's a fair point, though. Apologies. It is a fair point. Pop tracks... Are some of the most horrible to sing live, I must say, because you have nothing that's going on for you. No. Um, and people expect these pop tracks to be the best sung because they're easy. And to a certain extent, <laughs> musically speaking, they are easy. But vocally speaking, they're some of the most demanding because it's so simple that if you sing it simply, no one's going to be pleased. Oh, yeah. you Ever. Gotta, hi, these are the songs that... It often leave people disappointed when you see them live because... What happens to to the tension and the steadiness yeah. that you hear on a record? That's it. It's it's, it's impossible virtually life. impossible to replicate life in any type of environment, no matter how controlled this space is. Uh, breathing rate is it's a play. Your resting heart heart rate is a play. Everything is anything could actually uh, change and shift the way that you sound. And these microphones are really not made for creating steadiness, but picking up detail. <laughs> so this actually plays 
Uh, yes. against yeah. you as uh, in this type of environment she's doing an incredible job yeah, she, it's, it's, it's good this is a great performance well, and she is captivating everyone. with the audience she's very comfortable she's only a performer she's I think definitely comfortable in this environment then when you have a piece like this objective number one is charm the fuck out of everyone and try and have a pleasing have performance have a good time you're yeah. not gonna have a performance that's to please musicians If you go into that mentality, it's going to be horrible. If you go with that mentality, let's perform, let's entertain, happy days. Especially yeah, with a track like this. Most of the times, that's the best way to approach it because they, then they die, you never get to be left behind in the beat. You're always on top of it. Yeah. The approach, singing-wise, from a singing technique standpoint, is to always be ahead of the beat because what happens uh, specifically with a lyrical or contemporary voices like hers, um, they're very melodic, they tend to pull back a lot in, in dynamic tracks, so the mentality is always to try to be ahead of the beat, and ten, nine times out of ten you will actually be on, on, yeah. the, on tempo. But if you approach it differently, you'll drag. That's right, and then it'll sound And it's, and it's not off. a pop song, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See that rhythmicality is so tricky. <laughs> She's so good though. See that bus? Yeah. You know so much about home. You used to get those buses that are like transformers. Yep. Boss, that's the best example of that, I think. I, I think she's a good singer. I really do. I think the song is fucking impossible. Yeah, it's a difficult track. It really is. It's hard. I, I, and I don't think, she, like, when you listen to a song like that, I don't think it would be attributed as much credit for the difficulty of performing that solo like that. I agree. That's a tough performance, dude. And it's, it's sometimes it's really good to sort of, you know, dissect these performances. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it seems as if, like, you know, maybe she could have done better or whatever. But it's like... No, dude, I don't think many people would have been able to do what she did. No, believe me, this type of, like, uh, the rhythmicality and the the incredible demands from the diction standpoint, as as well as the 4x4 four four constant beat that is just keeps driving through. Four Even on the if, floor, I always talk about it, when you're a pop drummer. <laughs> it's crazy, though, because the minute it's out, it's ju just your, you know, mental metronome that's keeping you on tempo, especially in that acoustic break right before we go back to being big and everything comes back into place it is difficult because it don't it only requires it requires a really high pedigree of musicians somebody who understands musically what what is required from them as well as vocally and 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 performing things might be required from these environments but it, it's musically it's so demanding because you really can't relax, you really can't settle. Even if the, the song is pushing you towards that Rest. settling, uh, to, you know, pulling back, maybe allowing even more melody, the diction and the phrasing and how it's structurized in the song, it really doesn't give her a lot of freedom, even in the, in the parts where you think she might have some. Uh, actually, it's quite dangerous too, because say that you relish in that, And then you're off tempo. So when the beat comes back in, you're all over the place, and it's it's atrocious. It's, it's a train wreck, right? There's no moment for, yeah, relaxation. No, I leave it to what do you call it? Yeah, freedom. You're 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 in box. That's what pop is. Yeah. So it is. You know, it's, again, it's like a rough. It's a rough song. I don't think. It's a rough performance. It's just a rough song. She's a great, she's a great she's singer, though. She's I doing she's such doing a great job. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love to see how this ends. This is a hard task. <laughs> Nice. 
Panaginip lang by Alex Gonzaga. We enjoyed that, and everyone here at Quezon City Circle enjoyed yeah, yeah, that. Did you enjoy? Yeah! Yeah! Hey, yeah. <laughs> That is so cool. Listen, I've never I mean, heard of the talking. Me neither. <laughs> I like it though. I don't know. I like it. It just brings me back to the years in, in radio. And like it's, people it's like cool. hang about and they sell stuff. Yeah, like just like the sellers, the the the, the street sellers. So they kind of like fuck you know. It's just like back home. It yeah. is. It's literally seeing. Yeah, it's like being. It's so wild. Wait to, to me. I know it's gonna be a bit wild as well. Like you know, because okay. it has it has been a while since we were in an environment like that. Yeah, you know, and, and like the intensity, the traffic, you know, <laughs> the people, people, yeah. And yeah. I, but I think the heat. I haven't seen that many people that group together in a good while. It's just overall. I, I totally agree. Totally so agree. actually, I'm lying. I was clubbing the other day, so you know, now that the restrictions are a bit off here in London, but I want not to, on the street though, not not at that level. I, the the way that I want to go to Philippines is like yeah, but I've been talking about it a lot, and I think it's mainly because of that reason, yeah. you know. And obviously, I think my my primary reason I obviously want to meet a lot of you guys um, but I also I, I'm so interested in the music scene there and mm. listening to it live me too um, you know apart from obviously the obvious tourism and being a tourist <laughs> but uh, I, I'm, I'm very interested in, in that musical pedigree I want to mm. see it first hand I'm truly intrigued but yeah let us this know this was really cool and if you got any other performances or anything else from Anyone else that you like us to check out next, leave it on down in the comment section below and we will check it out. Very realistic performance. Indeed. Uh, yeah, let us know what you like us to check out next. That's right.